The time is 6 p.m. August 30th, 2021, a Monday. Good evening. The news headline. In Namdekanu, Buari finally replies IPO, declares his stand. Info exclusive. President Muhammad Buhari, in a recent statement, described the Inam de Kanu led indigenous people of Biafra IPOP as chiefs. Buhari insisted that IPOP led by Inam de Kanu are chiefs and are promoting terrorism. The president also argued that IPOP is not defending the Christians in the Southeast. In a statement by his spokesman, Gaba Shew, the president lamented about the group's attack on government facilities and police stations in the southeast, none reports. Buhari maintained that the kanu led group are not freedom fighters. The statement reads partly, further afield in the southeast, IPOP are not struggling for freedom when they attack police stations and property, but rather committing acts of terrorism to steal money. The indigenous people of Biafra IPOP is not defending Christians as their highly paid foreign lobbyists claim when almost every citizen of those states they terrorize is uniformly Christian. The president also appealed to Nigerians to unite against those who seek to divide us for their own nefarious financial and political gain. The time is 6.02 p.m. The analysis. Just again, the presidency uh, via Gaba Shew, that is the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, actually uh, via a press statement again, declared and called or who say described the in the Kanu led indigenous people of Biafra known as IPOP as thieves and that uh, they are only promoting terrorism and not defending the Christians in the Southeast. They said that if they are doing so, then there shouldn't be a group attack on government facilities and police stations. The statement reads partly that further afield in the Southeast, IPOP are not struggling for freedom when they attack police stations and property, but rather they are committing acts of terrorism to steal money. We remember sometimes in June 10, 2021, that the Buhari led government says that many of those behaving today are too young to be aware of the destruction and loss of lives that occurred during the Biafra war. As though to remind this young and misbehaving separatist agitators of his exploits during the 30-month-long Nigerian Biafra civil war. President Muhammad Buhari, who was then a brigade major in the 1st Division of the Nigerian military under the command of General Muhammad Shua, boasted to us, those of us in the fields for 30 months who went through the war will treat them in the language they understand. President Buhari's threat of treating Biafra separatist agitators in the language they understand evoked the horrific memories of civil war, which was characterized by a high level of starvation, death, and physical destruction. And yet again, the president has called the IPOB chiefs and that they are wholly trying to incite war and not as freedom fighters. Unfortunately, the federal military government of Nigeria, under the leadership of General Yakubu Gowon, launched an operation to crush the Biafra re rebellion between 1967 and 1970, which recorded a collateral damage of mass starvation and over 3 million civil deaths, including those of uh, women, children, and the aged. The Biafran territory, an area approximating the predominantly ego speaking Southeast, a geopolitical zone in present-day Nigeria was completely devastated by heavy air and artillery bombardment by the Nigerian security forces. It is against this background that President Muhammad Buhari's statement was widely condemned as a threat against citizens of his own country, and this subsequently drew the sanction of the tech company which, which cited a violation of its rules. 
that we can remember that some times ago, uh, the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, banned Twitter. And that was almost because on Twitter, amidst the widespread castigation, the angry reaction of the Buhari administration to the action taken by Twitter against its offensive tweets by banning the messaging application from Nigerian cyberspace. And you know, that is a clear and dangerous indication that President Muhammad Buhari did not learn any lesson from Nigerian civil war history, which he was part of. And because of many lessons not learned from Nigerian civil war history, President Muhammad Buhari clearly misunderstood the condemnation of his statements as a support for IPOP insurgency, insurgency and misinterpreted uh, the deleting of his tweets as a deliberate act of aiding the forces of the destabilization of his government. And beyond his misunderstanding and misrepresentation of the issues arising from his threats of sorrows, tears and blood lay a deep-seated anti-Igbo sentiment by President Buhari, one that has been demonstrated through the skewed nature of the appointments, programs and policies of, the, of his administration since his election in 2015. The short analysis. President Muhammadu Buhari has actually again, you know, tagged the indigenous people of Biafra as thieves and that the public should know that they are not freedom fighters because all they do is to fight uh, the security agencies and also to attack police stations and property and this act are uh, acts of terrorism because they are doing so only to steal money and that the public needs to know that they are not defending Christians because uh, if they are doing so then they would not actually uh, be attacking the government facilities of which even the Christians benefit from. The president also appealed to Nigerians to unite uh, against those who seek to divide us for their own nefarious and financial political gain. As we can remember that sometimes ago, the president actually uh, made some statements that the people of the rebel Republic of uh, Biafra needs a deep understanding that a common feature of injustice, iniquity, and exclusion and marginalization underlined the event leading to the unfortunate civil war between 1967 and 1970, where General Gowon prosecuted the war with caution and his tone throughout the period was conciliatory, just as his military gov government was open to dialogue as well as negotiation. And in his words, we fought the war with great caution, not in anger or hatred, but always in the hope that common sense will prevail. And just in the same vein, President Muhammad Buhari is almost walking in the same path by rebelling against the IPOB and calling them all sorts of names. The time is 6.10 p.m. Good evening.